I was a journalist. I, I was, you know, very proud of myself and <laughs> glamorous. And now <laughs> I'm a refugee. Originally, I'm from Krivirych. It's a um, central southern city in Ukraine. It's uh, close to Kherson, where fighting are now taking place. I left everything and I had just very, very basic essentials with me and now I don't know what to do. I was studying and living for the last 10 years plus in capital, in Kyiv, and um, when war started, I was in Kyiv in my apartment. I'm renting an apartment in Kyiv downtown. I really liked my life, and uh, it was completely ruined in one day, and I had to run from Kyiv. I, I had, you know, coffee in the morning in, in a pretty coffee house. Uh, I have my great friends who are all working in creative sphere like journalists and art directors and designers and we had wine every Friday. You know, that was a totally uh, privileged life. <laughs> like, I devastated. I, I didn't want to leave my apartment. I have everything there in my nice downtown apartment in a hipsterish downtown of Kiev. I have only one backpack with, you know, that's the only trousers I have. I mean, I don't know how, how my life would continue. Uh, I was studying philology, Ukrainian and general philology. And um, uh, now I'm working as a social media manager in a news outlet. And I'm still trying to work and you know, most of my work is in the uh, internet, so I, I'm looking for a Wi-Fi and try to keep working because I need some money. And uh, I don't know what to do, really. Two days ago, I was uh, really concerned about how I should go back to Kyiv and take maybe some other stuff, but now I'm just happy to be alive. And, uh, you know, it's uh, like a very different two versions of me before and after and, and I don't feel myself anymore. I mean, it's like I'm a different person. I'm, I was a journalist. I, I was, you know, very proud of myself and <laughs> glamorous. And now <laughs> I'm a refugee. <laughs>